I assume it's going to be about Amy, but this one's called True Self, so someone is going to become self-aware and look a little bit deeper inside today. What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius back at it again with Toradora episode 6. Last episode we had the introduction to the devil or the wench as me and uh, Taiga likes to say. Amy Kawashima, I'm pretty sure her last name is. And she's a model who's taking a break from modeling to pursue, I mean not pursue, but to go back to school. She's friends with Kitamura who hates Taiga, who is using Ryuji to make Taiga jealous. But you know, Ryuji and Taiga are too strong, too connected, but we see Amy walking down the street in disguise with a bunch of junk food. So I'm curious what that means. Remember, guys, if you guys want to see the full length of this episode and or early access to any of the other shows I'm watching, check out Patreon down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. And if you guys aren't subbed, please subscribe. Join that notification gang so you guys always know when I'm posting. Other than that, Dapper Squad, let's hop into this. Toradora, episode six. Man, I didn't write down a single thing that episode. It was a pretty self-contained, very focused on Kawashima, Amy's story, which when you think about her personality and how she got to who she is, it makes a lot of sense. Model, she grew up in showbiz, that kind of thing can lead to a nasty personality, but also is very terrifying when you come across a lot of the uh, shitty parts about being in showbiz, such as stalkers and fans who don't have any boundaries and take it way too far. And so, man, I get, I get where everyone is coming from in this situation, but I think ultimately the best thing happened at the end, not the end to end. That's a whole different thing. The end where she grew confidence and, and I don't want to say confidence, but thought to herself, like, why do I keep feeling scared and weak and helpless if I know I'm not like this? It's just, it's, it's a facade. Like, no more of this horseshit. I'm going to be me. Who cares what they think? Which is like me. I don't know if you guys knew this. You guys definitely didn't because you guys didn't know me in high school. But in high school, I, I don't want to call myself a sheep, but I would definitely be influenced by others. Like, I would be, oh, everyone's wearing these kind of shoes, these kind of socks. I want to be with the cool kids, you know, shit like that kind of stuff. But nowadays, I really will... Shoes, no socks, basketball shorts, and a way too tight anime t-shirt going to the mall type shit. You know, like I don't give a flying fuck what people think of me. And the reason I don't is just because I use myself as an example. If I see somebody weird at, who's like dressed weird, I mean, it's just human nature. It's innate for people to judge other people immediately. That's what humans do. I can't really fault people for doing that. But if I see someone weird and I judge them, I forget about them literally 10 minutes later. You know, I get back to my conversation about fried chicken or anime and I forget about them. That's what people, that's why I assume people are going to be thinking about me. So I just got to give some major shouts out to Amy for, for finally realizing that, you know, she's going to live with her personality. Who cares? And people are going to like you for who you are. She used uh, Taiga as a good example, which Taiga, she was not wrong. Taiga's life is a mess. She's very belligerent, very rude, but, you know, she's a good friend when it comes down to it. That ending though, just fuck. Oh. She's like, oh my god. See, that's what I was like. See, I didn't. Okay, Toradora, you got me on that one. That was good. I did not foresee that coming. I'll be honest with you. I definitely, as soon as I realized that Amy was this fake queen, I definitely saw her using Ryuji to make Taiga jealous. I predicted that. Easy peasy, easy. But what I did not expect was. For her to take Taiga and Ryuji's relationship and like I don't want to say be jealous of it but want something like that so she becomes herself and is like hey if you like Taiga for herself would you like me if I was myself I was not expecting that whatsoever of course it's typical tv show tv show slash anime-esque for the main character the girl that you it's so movie like you know this girl is throwing at your throwing herself at you the entire movie but you keep saying no. Then the one time you don't say no for a second, she's like, on you. You still haven't said yes yet, but you still don't say no. Is when your other girl that you like walks in. You know, it's like, that's just so, that's such a trope. But, you know, ah, I don't know how it's going to work, man. What is Taika and all I'm going to do? God damn it. Amy is so better looking than Taiga. I don't know why I paused so long to say that. I was thinking, like, should I say this? Should I not say this? I don't know. But you guys, I just, 
that's weird of me to say. I'm gonna end the episode right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. Thank you, Dapper Squad. Peace out, you guys.